Good evening. I'm speaking with Rosa Sena Nayaka, a former Goodwill Ambassador to the United Nations and certainly one of Sri Lanka's most well-known personalities. Rosa, welcome to the program. Um, very glad that you joined us um, at the beginning of what seems to be an inauspicious beginning for a new year. And I'd like to begin um, our discussion uh, with asking uh, you know, your, your, your outlook for the year based on the violence that has, on significant violence really, that has occurred just at its very start. What lies ahead for us? Thank you, Sanjana, first of all, for inviting me. And you know, also, this is the beginning of the year, and you just, I think, quite rightly, you know, but the first question was very appropriate because we're going through trial times. And my hope and uh, my wish for this year is that we would have peace and uh, not violence because from the start itself, uh, I must congratulate uh, our war heroes for actually we woke up on the first with good news that we have recaptured Kirinochi and now we hear that we have recaptured um, Elephant Pass and uh, I have to commend the soldiers from the bottom of my heart mm. for laying their lives down. We've lost so many uh, at the cost of you know, losing their lives. They are up there fighting to protect us. But unfortunately, we down here cannot even celebrate this victory because there's so much violence happening down here as well that we don't know what to believe and what to, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I cannot comprehend what's happening right now. So uh, my only hope and pray, prayer is that we eradicate terrorism totally from this nation mm -hmm. and look forward to a very peaceful country where we would live in uh, peace and harmony because we are a multi-ethnic, multi-religious society. Mm. And uh, we need to be sensitive to the needs of other nationalities, mm. other cultures, other uh, religious uh, sectors, and to be able to be very respectful. But practically, how would, how, would you, how would you ensure that that, 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 that occurs? Uh, you think that polity and society in the South is, 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 is open to that kind of idea? Uh, it's, I, I strongly believe that it has to start with, you know, we need to change our mindsets and the attitude towards life itself mm -hmm. and towards uh, how we resolve problems or resolve, uh, you know, whatever uh, challenges that may come our way, how mm -hmm. do we face them. Well, one of the ways in which the population might actually, I mean, they would agree with you, but also say that at the end of the day, violence is a means to get to where you are suggesting peace. Uh, I have a different school of thought, uh, Sanjana, with regard to that because uh, if I was given the responsibility of resolving something, uh, say where there's a conflict, I would take a different road, a different mode, a different route in how to resolve uh, situations and uh, problems. Mm. And we've seen many, you know, you have to allow people for changes mm. and we've seen hardcore terrorists change and come back into the norm stream and the, 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 the mainstream of politics and who have, who have come into the, uh, the democratic process. You think the LGT is capable of that? Well, we see a chief minister in the East hmm. who was the militant leader of the LTT. So he was part of the LTT. Today, he's basically denied and uh, uh, basically declined hmm. uh, the LTT. And he's come into the mainstream of politics. And, uh, Mr. Karunaman, Mr. Pillayan, mm. you know, if they can do it, anyone can do it. But and certainly not, not through a denunciation of violence. No, but the thing is we need to allow people to, we need to give them the freedom or we need to uh, create that platform for them to be able to, you know, open their eyes, open mm. their hearts and see, uh, you know, there is uh, 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 another way of fighting for whatever that you believe in. You, you brought in the aspect of family. One week ago, we had uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Uday Gawampila, uh, the legal uh, advisor to the JHU uh, and chairperson of the Central Environmental Authority, and he used an uh, interesting example. Uh, uh, he said that if a rabbit dog were to come in and uh, start biting children in a playground, and if you were a Buddhist, would you look on without acting? And I think his suggestion was that if there is a terrorist entity that is hell-bent on destroying the values, the norms, and certainly the ethics and the ways of belief, uh, the society and polity as we know it, would you just sit passively by and let that entity do violence? So then I said that I would take a different mode and a different route and a different uh, way in how I would resolve problems. We live in a civilized society. <coughs> We're not talking about animals and humans if you're talking about human beings. Yeah. You know, at the end of, end of the day, whoever who is responsible for resolving 
a crisis or problem, maybe with regard to the ethnic issue, maybe with regard to terrorism, maybe with regard to the economy, maybe with regard to you know uh, other social problems like what we see right now down here. People have absolutely zero respect mm. or tolerance for another human being or for humanity. Um, you know, I strongly believe that uh, in this. We are living in, a, in the 21st century civilized society. I strongly believe that we first have to realize that when we take on responsibility, that we have to be totally responsible for another human being's life. Because at the end of the day, we haven't come here to live forever. In this short span of time, this is a transition period that we are on this earth. Mm. And when we live as responsible citizens, we have to remember it is not the power it is not the fame, it is not the money or the houses or the, the, the whatever that you, you have acquired. Uh, you know, the academic qualifications, the uh, basically the cars, the wealth, the jewelry. That's not what you take when you go. Hmm. All what you take is what you have done for humanity hmm. and whether you have stood justly or leave behind society. is it could be the better argument in a sense, your legacy. Absol uh, what absolutely. Would, what, what so I, I strongly believe that we, because I see a deterioration in the value system, hmm. in the way people look at uh, humanity and also in the way people look at situations and how they, the kind of uh, the, the methods they would take 